Coming up on High School Quiz Show, it's the qualifying match between Advanced Math and Science Academy and Westford Academy. That's next on High School Quiz Show. Major funding for High School Quiz Show is provided by Safety Insurance. You always want your kids to be safe. Now you can show them the Drive with Safety app from Safety Insurance, designed to help us all drive better. You can ask an independent agent about safety insurance. We'll help you manage life storms. Additional funding is provided by the Museum of Science. The Museum of Science. Trekking around the Arctic has never been easier. You can get lost in the mystery and find beauty in Arctic adventure, exploring with technology. On exhibit now, only at the Museum of Science. More at MOS.org. Hi, everybody. Welcome to High School Quiz Show. I'm Billy Costa, your host. Back in January, teams from all over Massachusetts competed at our virtual Super Sunday qualifying event. 17 of those teams earned a spot in this year's competition. And the goal now is to become the next High School Quiz Show champion. And in today's match, direct from the comfort of their own homes, we have Advanced Math and Science Academy from Marlboro taking on Westford Academy. And on the AMSA team, Kavi, how are you? I'm good, how are you? Nice to see you, thanks for joining the show. Ashwin, nice to see you again, welcome back. Hello. <laughs> Andrew, you ready to play? Yeah, I'm ready. Absolutely, and Max, you look like you've got your game face on, you ready? Yes, I am. All righty, and by the way, uh, the alternates for the team are Maya and Sazmita with coach Jessica Bowen. And uh, on the Westford Academy team, hello, Jeremy. Hello. How you doing, buddy? You look very comfortable there. I am, thank you. Got to tell you, that looks like a comfortable spot. Sasha, good to see you on High School Quiz Show. How are you? I'm doing great, sir. All right, and welcome to the show. Danny, how you doing? I'm good. Okay, and Drute, you ready to go? Yes, sir. All right, the alternate is Suyash with coaches Tim Welch and Mark Quattrochi. The competition has four rounds, a toss-up, a head-to-head, -head, a category round, and a lightning round. And we're going to start with the toss-up round. All players on both teams are active and with the correct answer can each contribute 10 points per question to their team score. In this round, there are no point deductions for wrong answers. A green light indicates a correct answer. A red light, an incorrect answer, and a gray light means no answer has been provided within the three seconds granted. So teams, if you're ready, good luck, and here we go. Originally written in the script as a jerk, uh, what character on Friends was changed when actor Matt LeBlanc questioned why the others would be friends with him? Was it Chandler, Joey, or Ross? Joey's the answer. Made entirely during the Big Bang, what gas with only one proton in its nucleus is the lightest and simplest element? Oxygen, hydrogen, or helium? Hydrogen is the answer. Which of the following connects two bones in a joint? Is it tendon, cartilage, or ligament? Ligament is the answer. What Roman emperor is most remembered for building a massive wall across northern Britain? Is it Tito, Trajan, or Hadrian? Hadrian is the correct answer. Take a look at your screens. Pictured here is a poster of Soviet cosmonaut Valentina Tereshkova. She made history in what decade as the first woman to travel in space? Was it the 1960s, 1970s, or 1980s? 1960s, the answer. Bolivia wasn't always landlocked more than 100 years ago. It lost its entire Pacific coastline in a war with what neighboring country? Was it Chile, Peru, or Ecuador? Chile is the answer. 
Gregor Mendel is the founder of the modern science of genetics. What type of plant did he study to establish the rules of heredity? Was it radishes, corn, or peas? Peas is the answer. The Australian Open is a major tennis event normally held every January in what city? Melbourne, Sydney, or Perth? Melbourne, Australia in 2002. What television competition series launched Kelly Clarkson's music career? Was it The Voice, American Idol, or The Masked Singer? American Idol. Now take a look at your screens. Here comes the next question. Hi, I'm Ernie Bach Jr. and here's my question. Built by the Ford Motor Company from 1908 to 1927, the Model T was the first affordable car for the mass market. In 1909, Henry Ford famously said, any customer can have a car painted any color as long as it was what? And the options are brown, gray, or black. Black is the answer. A crab named Sebastian sings Under the Sea in what animated Disney film? The Little Mermaid, Moana, or Enchanted? The Little Mermaid. In The Fault in Our Stars, Hazel and Augustus share their first kiss in the attic of the Anne Frank House in what European city? Berlin, Paris, or Amsterdam? Amsterdam. In January 2021, a week after the storming of the U.S. Capitol, what Boston area coach refused a presidential Medal of Freedom from President Trump? Was it Brad Stevens, Bruce Serena, or Bill Belichick? Bill Belichick, the answer. What was investigated by the U.S. Air Force in Project Grudge, Project Sign, and Project Blue Book? Was it climate change, UFOs, or post-traumatic stress disorder? <laughs> UFOs. Math question, Jack spent $35 on new dishes. This was $7 less than three times what he spent on ice cream. How much did he spend on ice cream? $14, $21, or $25? $14 is the correct answer. And that's the end of the first round, the toss-up round. The score right now, Amps are 420 points. Westford Academy, 410 points. This is a close round. Give it up for them, everybody. Okay, the head-to-head -head round is next, but we're going to take a couple of minutes to get to know the players, and why not? You guys have spent a lot of time alone over the last several months. So let's kind of hang out for a couple of minutes. I've got a question here. Each of you will have a chance to answer. And here is the question. In 2020, there were many calls for social justice and various protests. If you could donate a million dollars to any cause or organization, what would it be and why? And we'll start over here at AMSA with you, Kavi. So I would donate the money to Best Buddies International because I'm a founding member of my school's chapter and I've been able to see firsthand the opportunities the organization provides to those with intellectual and developmental disabilities. Nicely done. Tom Brady spent several years with that uh, same charity. Uh, Ashwin, how about you? Uh, I would donate the money to Khan Academy because they're continually changing lives by providing quality educational assistance to those who are disproportionately affected by the pandemic. Nicely said. Andrew, you? Um, I would donate the money to Project Bread because they're helping a lot of people gain easier access to food, which mm -hmm. is hard to access for a lot of people because of the pandemic. And that continues today and continues every day. Nice choice, Andrew. How about you, Max? I would donate the million dollars to Feeding America. This organization aims to feed families that are struggling with hunger and food, food insecurities during the pandemic. Uh, nice mix of choices there. Let's go over to Westford Academy. How about you, Jeremy? Uh, I would donate the million dollars to alleviating medical debt for people in need. Just, I know it's a big problem and it's only growing by the day, so might as well try to help. Okay, another good one. Sasha, how about you? I would donate the million dollars to the Trevor Project to help the transgender community because they face so much discrimination every day. Okay, these are a lot of great choices. Danny, you've had some time to think about it. How about it? Uh, Wikipedia, so that you don't get the please donate to us banner on top of articles anymore. Okay. And uh, Drew, you got a million dollars to donate. Where are you going to give it? 
uh, a few of my friends actually run their own nonprofit, so I'll give it to them to help them hit the round, hit the ground running. Yeah, groundbreaking. Very nice. Good job, guys. Now it's time to go head to head. You know what that means? All of you are going head to head right now. As a reminder, in this round, correct answers add 10 points to the team total. However, incorrect answers now result in a 10 point deduction. If a player does not provide an answer in the three seconds granted, there is no impact on the score. So teams, if you're ready, let's go head to head. What ocean basin is home to approximately 75% of the Earth's volcanoes, Indian Ocean or Pacific Ocean? Pacific Ocean. What Athenian philosopher was Plato's teacher, Socrates or Aristotle? Socrates, in 1921, at age 39, Franklin D. Roosevelt was diagnosed with what disease? Tuberculosis or polio? Polio is the answer. In 1812, what German scientist developed a scale that ranks the hardness of minerals? Karl Bosch or Friedrich Mohs? Friedrich Mohs. What color robes are handmaids forced to wear in The Handmaid's Tale? Red or blue? Red is the answer. Which Great Lake borders Pennsylvania? Lake Erie or Lake Huron? Lake Erie. In The Hobbit, what small slimy creature has been corrupted and enslaved by a magic ring? Elrond or Gollum? Gollum is the answer. What U.S. state grows more oranges and grapefruits than any other? California or Florida? Florida is the answer there. And that's the bell that ends the round. We take a look at the score right now. Amps with a total score of 500 points. Ooh, this is close. Westford Academy, 470 points. Nice job, teams. Okay, next up is the category round with the following categories. Turkish Delight. The play's the thing. Moment of tooth. Everything counts. History's mysteries. And Magnificent Seven. Each category has five questions with increasing point values. Once a team chooses a category, they will be asked all five questions. Right answers will add points. Wrong answers will deduct points from the team's total. A decision to not answer will not impact the team score. Once per category, the team can also choose to toss a question to the opposing team. A tossed question must be answered, and in this specific case, a no answer is the same as a wrong answer. Each team will complete two full categories. They can confer and will have 10 seconds to answer each question question and uh, each team will get to name a spokesperson AMSA who's it gonna be Max is the team spokesperson Westford Academy how about you Jeremy the team spokesperson now Westford Academy you have the slightest bit of ground to make up the good news is you choose the first category what's it gonna be uh, I think we're gonna go with history's mysteries History's mysteries. Questions about history's greatest mysteries. And for 10 points, what pseudonym was used by the unidentified murderer who killed at least five women in London's impoverished Whitechapel district in 1888? It was Jack the Ripper, right? Yeah. yeah, yeah. Jeremy, final answer. Jack the Ripper. And that's a correct answer. Now for 15 points. Which of the following is the most accepted theory of the purpose of Stonehenge? Burial ground, Druid temple, or ancient hell spa? Uh, Druid temple, I think, right? Yeah. That sounds the most yeah. Right. Jeremy, final answer. Druid temple. Sorry, burial ground is the right answer. Now for 20 points. What English colony became known as the Lost Colony after settlers mysteriously disappeared in 1590, leaving behind the word Croatoan carved into a gatepost? Right. 
Yep. It's Roanoke. Yeah. Jeremy, final answer. Roanoke. Roanoke is correct. For 25 points, it's the ultimate cold case. More than 500 years ago, Richard III's two young nephews, 12-year-old Edward V and his younger brother, Richard of Shrewsbury, were last seen alive in what building? I think it's the Tower of London. Tower of London, yeah. London. Yeah, Tower of London. Final answer, Jeremy. The Tower of London. And that is correct. Now for 30 points. What alias was used by a man who in 1971 hijacked Northwest Orient Airlines 727 and parachuted over the Pacific Northwest after receiving $200,000 in ransom? His fate and identity unknown to this day. This is uh, D.B. Cooper, right? Yep, D.B. Cooper. Yep, D.B. Cooper. Jeremy, final answer. B.B. Cooper. And that is a correct answer. And now we come over to AMSA. And AMSA, you will need a category. What's it going to be? Do you guys want to do Everything Counts? Does that sound good? I feel like that's math, though. I'll Maybe need a category. Max? All right. Uh, we will do... What did you say, Kavi? Turkish Delight. Seems All right. We'll do Turkish Delight. So we will. And these are questions about Turkey. For 10 points, the modern Republic of Turkey was founded after the Ottoman Empire was defeated in what war? World, world War I. Right? Yeah. All right. Ma Max? Our answer is World War I. And that is correct. Now for 15 points, Mustafa Kemal was modern Turkey's founder and first president. He was given the name Ataturk, which means which of the following? Supreme leader of the Turks, father of the Turks, head of the Turkish resistance. I think it's father, right? Father of the Turks? He's father too. Sounds right. Okay. Max, final answer. Our answer, father of the Turks. And uh, that would be correct. Now for 20 points in 1974, Turkey invaded the northern part of what Mediterranean island, leading to a division that remains to this day? Cyprus. Yeah. 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 Okay. Our answer is Cyprus. Final answer. Cyprus. And that is correct. For 25 points, meaning holy wisdom in Greek. What Istanbul Cathedral was turned into a mosque after the Ottoman conquest, then became a museum, and then became a mosque again in 2020? Hagia Sophia. Yeah, Hagia Sophia. Final answer, Max? Our answer is Hagia Sophia. And that is correct. Now for 30 points. In power since 2003, what authoritarian Turkish president survived a failed coup in 2016? I think it's Erdogan. Erdogan, yeah. Erdogan, yeah. Final answer, Max? Our answer is Erdogan. And that is a correct answer. And now we go back to Westford Academy. You'll need a category. Uh, you guys want to do Everything Counts? That yeah. sound good to you? Yeah, that sounds good. Yeah. We good with that, Jeremy? Everything counts. Okay. Everything counts. Questions about math for 10 points. What three-letter term refers to a segment of a curve? Arc. 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 Final answer, Jeremy? Arc. And that's correct. For 15 points, what mathematical constant is defined as the ratio of a circle's circumference to its diameter? Pi. Pi. Yeah. Yeah. Final answer, Jeremy. Pi. And pi is correct. For 20 points, which of the following terms refers to a pattern of repeating shapes that fit together perfectly without gaps or overlaps? Is it tessellation, fractal, or symmetry? Tessellation. 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 I'm sorry, final answer? Tessellation. Tessellation is correct. Now for 25 points, a dodecahedron is a polyhedron with how many flat faces? I believe that's 12. 12. 12. 12. Final answer, Jeremy. 12. 12 is correct. Now 30 points at stake, often placed at the end of a mathematical proof. What three letters abbreviate a Latin phrase meaning that which was to be demonstrated? QED. 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 Final answer, Jeremy. QED. QED is correct. And now back to AMSA we go. Category, guys. Um, what do you guys want? Magnificent Seven? Does that sound good? Yeah, that, that sounds good. Yeah, yeah. That sounds yeah, good. sounds right. good. Max, what's it we'll going to be? With, 
We'll go with Magnificent Seven. Magnificent Seven. All answers are seven-letter words. And for 10 points, uh, the first African-American sit-in at a restaurant took place in 1958 at the Dockham Drugstore in what Kansas City, the largest in the state by population? Is it Wichita, right? I think yeah. that's the... Yeah, yeah. That sounds good. Final answer, Max? Wichita. Correct. For 15 points, widely used as a greeting in India. What Sanskrit word meaning I bow to you is often said at the end of yoga classes in the United States? Namaste. Okay. Um, Final answer, Max? Namaste. And that is correct for 20 points. Named after an 18th century English mathematician, what branch of algebra addresses values of true or false? in its variables, commonly expressed by zero and one. It's Boolean, right? Boolean. Boolean. Mm -hmm. Okay. Final answer? Boolean. Boolean is correct. For 25 points, Razzle Dazzle and Cell Block Tango are songs from a 2002 film that was the first musical since Oliver to win an Oscar for Best Picture. The Chicago? Are you? Confident about that? Chicago. Yeah, I think okay. so. Cell block tang is from Chicago. What do you think, Max? Chicago. Chicago it is for 25 points. Now for 30 points. Which naturally occurring uh, isotope of hydrogen is radioactive? I think it's tritium, right? <laughs> yeah, mm. I think you might read deuterium as well. That makes sense. Tritium, right? That's how you pronounce it? Yeah. Final okay. answer, Max. Tritium. Tritium is the right answer there. And uh, that ends the category round. The score right now, AMSA, 700 points. Westford Academy, 640 points. This is still a very close match, everybody. Okay, we are heading into the final round of play. It is the lightning round. All players on both teams are active and with the correct answer can add 20 points to their team's total. An incorrect answer will cost 20 points and a decision not to answer within the three seconds provided will not impact the score. There will be 10 questions. So teams, if you're ready, this is the lightning round. What type of energy is also known as stored energy? Potential energy or kinetic energy? Potential energy. In 1587, Mary, Queen of Scots, was beheaded for treason against what English monarch? Elizabeth I or Henry VII? Elizabeth I. Uh, the title of the novel, The Catcher in the Rye, comes from a work by what Scottish poet? Robert Louis Stevenson or Robert Burns? Robert Burns, who served two terms as vice president under Dwight D. Eisenhower. Was it Richard Nixon or Gerald Ford? Richard Nixon. In 1665, what scientist discovered and named the first cell? Was it Robert Hooke or Anthony Van Leeuwenhoek? Robert Hooke. Uh, the National Park Service identifies what Minnesota lake as the primary source of the Mississippi River? Is it Lake Minnetonka or Lake Itasca? Lake Itasca is the answer. What first mate questions the judgment of Captain Ahab and Moby Dick? Is it Ishmael or Starbuck? Starbuck, the answer. Who turned down the lead role in Avatar due to scheduling conflicts with a born ultimatum? Was it Ben Affleck or Matt Damon? Matt Damon, the answer, which U.S. state is closest to the international date line, Alaska or Hawaii? Alaska, since 2014, who has served as Prime Minister of India? Is it Imran Khan or Narendra Modi? Narendra Modi is the answer to that question, and that's the bell that ends the game. Uh, this week's winner is AMSO with a total score of 940 points. Westford Academy total score of 800 points. So now AMSO will advance.
to the next round. But we do want to congratulate both teams. This was, in fact, a great round. Amson out moves on and will advance to the next round where they'll take on the winner of next week's match between Needham and Newton North. And that's next week. Until then, please don't forget you can play a bonus round of High School Quiz Show on your Alexa or Google Home devices. Just ask your smart speaker to play High School Quiz Show and we'll see you all next week. Great round, team. You can watch High School Quiz Show anytime on our YouTube channel. Follow us on Instagram for a look behind the scenes and quizzes that'll keep you thinking. Follow us on Facebook and Twitter for more photos and video. And add some competition to your conversations by sending your friends High School Quiz Show gifts. Major funding for High School Quiz Show is provided by Safety Insurance. People take a lot of selfies, even after a fender bender. With Safety's Quick Estimate program, you can use the self-service process to get an appraisal, helping your car to be repaired. You can ask an independent agent about safety insurance. We'll help you manage life storms. Additional funding is provided by Eastern Bank. When our communities need a voice, Eastern Bank steps up stands strong and does not stay silent when times get tough good speaks up join us for good this is what it's